The next important definition in the continued session of polynomials is zeros of a polynomial. It is very important to understand the definition of zeros of a polynomial. So let's see in today's session about zeros of a polynomial. So in general, the word zero is coming in to the, into existence in this topic of zeros of a polynomial. So it has got definitely to do something with zero. Let's see how the definition comes more brief. Let me take the polynomial p of x. Now zero of a polynomial is defined as zero of a polynomial p of x say for example for p of x the zeros of a polynomial p of x are the values of x for which this equal to 0 this is the main condition which makes us extract the value of x and that x is called zero of a polynomial let's see it more brief the zeros of the polynomial p of x are defined as the values of x for which p of x equal to 0 so in order to find the zeros of the polynomial we simply simplify this equation p of x equal to 0 and then those values of x which are obtained are called zeros of the polynomial let's understand this concept more stronger by taking an example problem This is the definition. Let's take an example problem. For example, I have my polynomial p of x is x square minus 5x plus 6. It's a quadratic polynomial or a trinomial x square minus 5x plus 6. Now, I want to find the zeros of this polynomial. Therefore, I go with this definition which says that in order that I find the zeros of this polynomial x square minus 5x plus 6, I just take this equation and solve. So let's see how it is possible. The given polynomial for zeros for zeros of the polynomial p of x the condition says p of x must be 0. So for zeros the condition is p of x equal to 0 indirectly the p of x being replaced with the given expression in the problem that is p of x is x square minus 5x plus 6 equals 0 and this on further simplification we know that this can be factorized using the quadratic factorization and then x square minus 5x plus 6 can be factorized to be x minus 2 times x minus 3 which is equal to 0 which on further simplification gives us when the product of two factors is 0, this is 0 or this is 0 and which on continued further gives me the value of x is 2 and x is 3. Therefore, for this expression, zeros of the polynomial or the values of x for which this is 0. So taking p of x equal to 0 with the given expression equated to 0, I get the two values of x which are 2 and 3, which are the zeros of the given polynomial p of x. Therefore, zeros of the polynomial p of x equals x square minus 5x plus 6 are 2 and 3, is how we define The zeros of the given polynomial x square minus 5x plus 6 are 2 and 3. 2 and 3, the zeros for the given polynomial is how we understand the definition. Equate the p of x to 0, find x, and that x is the zero of the given polynomial p of x. It's simple. Now let's take an exceptional problem where I need to find for a constant polynomial the zeros, the zeros of a zero polynomial 
is what we are going to discuss in today's session. Zeros of a zero polynomial is the exceptional case which we are going to discuss in the session. Let us revisit the zero polynomial which we have defined as a polynomial which has the constant zero. So for this zero polynomial, I need to find the zeros which itself says that the zero the zeros of a zero of a polynomial is the values of x for which p of x equal to zero. Now the polynomial being the zero polynomial being the p of x equal to zero itself, I have all x belonging to R for all x belonging to real numbers, the zero polynomial does not lose its definition. It must be p of x equal to zero. Therefore, for every x belonging to R, p of x is zero or for any x replaced with any real number, I get the value to be zero. Therefore, zeros of the zero polynomial are all real numbers is how I understand the zeros of the zero polynomial are all real numbers. Every real number when substituted in x for p of x gives me zero and therefore zeros of the zero polynomial are all real numbers, infinitely many real numbers belonging to R. In this session, we are going to discuss about the different terminologies used for zeros of a polynomial. As we know that the zeros of the polynomial are the values of x for which the function or the polynomial is equal to zero, we also have different names through which we understand the zeros of the polynomial. So let's see the different notations and the terminologies used in understanding the zeros of a polynomial. Zeros of a polynomial are also understood as roots <coughs> of a polynomial and they are also understood as solutions of the polynomial of a polynomial. These are the different ways through which we understand the zeros. If I want to find the roots of the polynomial, it is nothing but indirectly referred to finding zeros of the polynomial. If I want to find the solution of a polynomial or solve the polynomial, it is nothing but indirectly finding the zeros of the polynomial. It's how I understand the different terminologies used. Different terminologies for zeros of a polynomial. is how I understand the different terminologies for zeros of a polynomial. Zeros are the roots are the solutions for a given polynomial p of x with variable x. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.